Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Remember my 1000 joule air gun approach from last year? I gotten as far as 917 joule with a uh, fat aluminum and steel bolt. Well, and then the gun broke while I was trying to uh, shoot through a police riot shield. <laughs> it actually worked fine. The only issue is that the recoil was so big that the entire brackets that I used to clamp down the system uh, on the wooden shaft, it broke apart and actually it hurt my shoulder quite a bit. So since the summer is here and hot temperatures will hopefully soon arrive, I decided to bring the project back to life and made a new gun. Here it is. <laughs> the world record attempt air gun arrow shooter. <laughs> Let me show you its features. I know, I know, it's not pretty. Well, it's not designed to be pretty. I like making pretty things, but this thing is poor functionality. It is actually solving all the issues I had with the previous model from last year. As you see, the stock is made from three layers of 18 mm plywood, giving it a total thickness of 54 mm. That's pretty much unbreakable. And the system, I mounted it onto a stainless steel flat iron part and used metal brackets this time. And also what I did is I came up with this method to support the metal brackets from the recoil of the barrel that wants to shift the whole thing back. So it now transfers all that energy down into the solid wooden stock. Of course, it has the usual attachment for my red dot side. Also, I reinforced this here, the lever, because the problem was that it, the, the force of these rubber bands, a total of eight strings of rubber, was so great that actually the original cast iron lever broke or bent. And now I simply kind of uh, used a, uh, an, a reinforcement from stainless steel. This is a ball valve, yes, of course, and usually those aren't very high rated. But this isn't from pneumatics, this is from hydraulics. And it's rated 500 bar, so more than enough, because my compressor only makes 300 bar. And the same is true for the check valve here, it is also rated 500 bar, so it's all safe. Hopefully. <laughs> and still, the thing is that, of course, the heavy rubber, it's actually impossible to do this by hand, the heavy, heavy rubber is uh, forcing open the ball valve, which is clamped back here with this system, and I put the trigger a little back, so that when you pull the trigger, you release the uh, shot, and then boom. Now I put on a barrel for a normal arrow, it's actually one for the FX Airguns Verminator, Remember Germany's most dangerous toy? I think it has serious competition now. <laughs> and uh, the advantage is that the barrel is exchangeable. It's simply a half inch connector that I use, so I can exchange this against another arrow launch tube at any time. Why did I put on uh, the thin arrow barrel first? Well, it's a Sunday, um, therefore I can't really go very loud. I don't want to really want to disturb the neighbors, few neighbors that I have. Um, and of course this is much more silent because there's a lot less air being forced to it. Of course it will never achieve its max maximum energy with this barrel simply because the diameter is too small. We need a bigger caliber to really get into some decent energy level. Uh, but I also want to see how fast I can shoot this arrow. See I put a nail through the front because otherwise I would just be shooting the tip off and I'm hoping that it now withstands 300 bars of presser, pressure in this 400 cubic centimeter um, tube. So this means we're compressing 120 liters down into 400 CCM. And this is my candidate for the record. It's a set of a launch barrel with a half inch connector, of course, and a stainless steel arrow with a hardened center punch as a tip. It's the same thing that I used to shoot through the police wire shield and helmet. And I think this will ultimately uh, crack the 1000 joule limit. Okay, 300 bars on a normal arrow. Let's see how it fits. Whoa! <laughs> 167.9 meters per second.
and that was enough to force this thing through the entire archery mat and then I think it hit the wooden post here I saw some wood splinters, yes, yes that is where it hit and then it got deflected and it is now broken Wow, we are talking 167.9 meters per second that's a little over 550 feet per second with a regular crossbow bolt. Amazing. Now that we know how fast it travels, we want to see if this is the first regular arrow that can fully penetrate my police riot shield. So I put it against between the tree and the uh, wall. We're going to shoot at it and see what happens. Okay. And. <laughs> saw the sparks from the wall. It flew right through. Wow! I think this monster is going to do it. Ugly as it is, I think it's the world's most brutal arrow shooter never seen a more powerful one. I'll be starting the record tests very soon so next week I will probably upload a video or two so you might want to check in from time to time to see if the record has already fallen. As a little bonus I told you that I also like making beautiful things and I'm fascinated by blades specifically razor blades. So a while ago I made this with a matching sheath. As you see it's a fixed knife made from a uh, straight razor and I kind of like it I, because it's so beautiful. Of course, you cannot really shave with it, but it definitely is one heck of a slasher knife. But I do want to have a folding knife with a straight razor as a blade. Not for shaving, because shaving my head is kind of hard with a straight razor, just because I have no eyes here. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to make a folding uh, razor that actually is more like a knife. So it still has like a locked position so you can cut. And I also need more beef. I need more beef than this thin scales that you typically get when you buy a straight razor. So I made my own from plywood and cocobolo and here it is. Let me show you its features. From this angle it really looks like a normal straight razor but when you turn it you see that there is a lot of beef to it. It's cocobolo that's why it really has this very 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 nice uh, finish and it does also hold in place uh, by uh, magnets actually by neodymes so you can open this and it also locks in the open position and it doesn't open any further than this so this now makes it an excellent slasher real nice and it is not locking so it's legal to carry so you can close it at any time and of course open it at any time but it won't accidentally fall because the magnet is too strong. Finish is just polished wood and linseed oil and I think it came out beautiful. Don't you think? <laughs> also YouTube surprised me with a gift. It's actually a yearbook of 2016. Nicely packaged. I really think it looks noble, don't you think? Really good. And it is a yearbook of all the channels that broke the 1 million subscriber level in the year 2016 which is many many and certainly not the only one so if you open the book this comes out and on the cover you see all the channel names and mine is on it see here I am and in the inside of the book you got pictures of everybody who broke that record me included I'm here next to the Neanderthal man from the museum in uh, near Düsseldorf <laughs> I like that one <laughs> because I think I look like the real Neanderthal. <laughs> but, you know, when you read a book like this, you notice two things. First of all, how incredibly successful YouTube is. I mean, all these people, and those are just the people that broke the 1 million subscriber level in 2016. There are plenty of others that started earlier or later. <laughs> so, very successful. And also, you notice one more thing. How many really beautiful people have successful YouTube channels? And I, for one, probably have to stick to beautiful knives and brutal weapons to be successful. Although maybe you did notice that I look reasonably slim. Just because I used that secret muscle powder 
from Germany that the Gelida guys do and I've now been doing it for about 14 weeks and I lost like 12 kilos so far. I feel great. I feel in the shape of my life. And uh, really, I lost a lot of fat, but still plenty of muscle is there. And for the first time ever, I have a feeling I can see some tone in my abs. <laughs> if you want to know more about this stuff, I run a Facebook group that has over 3,000 members now. Link is down below, maybe you want to join. All right, if you want to know more about that yearbook thing, YouTube also made a nice video clip. And if you watch it, you would see that I have really developed over time. It started just with pure slingshots and evolved over so many other weapons and things. And eventually even fitness and so on. And I even had a few episodes about cooking. <laughs> so this is still the slingshot channel, but I've just widened. And you know, there are people that don't like it, that want me to stick to slingshots. But it's boring, it's all the same. So I still love slingshots, but showing a slingshot over and over and over again, that would bore my audience and that is the only thing I totally refuse to do. So, I hope you liked seeing me seeing destroying costly arrows. <laughs> we'll switch to something more solid next week. Stainless steel. Stay tuned. Hope you liked it. That's it for today. Thanks and bye-bye.